Hello everybody! It's a whole new day. It's Tuesday. Um, I couldn't find a good location so I'm just uh, spinning around in the chair here. Figure that's better than same old same old. And where she stops nobody knows. Actually I know because I'm going to stop right here. <laughs> uh, I'm wearing my foundry shirt. As you all know I love my foundry. Uh, here's what it looks like. Love thy foundry. That's Ryan, my instructor, the wonderful Ryan. So, I started a dream yesterday telling you guys about a dream. And this dream I had when I was about seven or eight, lived on San Saba in Bossier City. So the dream related to the Ripley's, believe it or not, with uh, Holly and Jack Plants. And in the dream I was watching Ripley's, believe it or not. And he, Holly Plants... Uh, the show began, I'm sitting there watching it, and Holly Plant says, A lot of little kids do interesting things, but this little girl does something very interesting in public. She's sharing her loss. Two years ago, little whatever her name was, Rebecca or whatever, little Rebecca's parents were killed in a car accident. She wasn't ready to let them go, so what she does now is she honors them every day inside some cookies and then it goes to the mall and you see her at one of those kiosks and you know those little shortbread cookies with the raspberry jam inside of them you know in the, in the center raspberry jam well in the dream they explained how uh, when her parents died they put them on ice or whatever her parents died and they ground them up into this like red paste so her parents were pretty much human oatmeal like or applesauce and what she did is to honor them in the mall she would stand there each day and eat these cookies these shortbread cookies and the red center was her ground up parents freak me the hell out in this dream so in the dream i'm watching it i'm watching this on ripley's believe it or not and as i'm watching it i don't know if you've had this experience when you're watching tv in a dream you go into the dream or into the tv or a movie you're watching the movie and then you go into the movie well that's what happened i was in the show and i was standing at her kiosk and i was all scared and i wanted to ask questions but i was so scared and then she tried to make me eat one of them so when that adams family movie came out and she's like oh these are girl scout cookies and she's like are they made with real girl scouts I was all, oh my god, that's like that dream I had. And there's some more elements to that dream, which maybe I'll go into. Once I woke up, it got even more frightening. Uh, I'll revisit that after a while. Talking about cleansing, you know, it's the last day of the diet. And a lot of it is about the intentions, the intention to eat healthy, the intention to abstain from certain things, or be aware of how much, how often I eat them. One of my intentions did not manifest at all, which Terry Layton was my boss at Whole Foods in the nutrition department, and he had a lot of good wisdom around nutrition and eating, uh, even though he didn't drink. But whatever, you know, people can not do what they want. Uh, and it, one of his things, I said, Terry, if you could tell me one tip, one thing to do for my health, what would it be? And he said, you know what, uh, Duncan, yay, what you should do is every day, when you wake up, take a cup of water, warm, lukewarm water, room temperature a little bit warmer. He didn't meander like that. Put the juice of half a lemon, a couple of shakes of salt in it, and drink it every morning. And that is the best single thing you can do. I meant to do that the entire time during this diet, and I didn't do it once. But that's okay, uh, starting tomorrow. Yeah, it's always tomorrow. Maybe I'll put a note on the mirror to do it. But when I have done it, I've felt better. I don't know if it's some of it, the salt and lemon and the warmth, the electrolytes or whatever, gets the body primed. Definitely gets the morning movement going, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so that's a really good thing, which, you know, I, I like to do every day. So I want to start doing that again. Um, going to have a meeting to embark on a new Facebook. I'm taking over a Facebook page for an animal rescue, Star Support Team Animal Rescue. So I'll tell you guys more about that tomorrow. All right. Peace. Love you. Love your show. Call me.